It's week seven of the regular season and the Broncos have a short week as they head to Cleveland to take on the Browns for Thursday night football. What's up Broncos country? I'm team reporter Sydney Jones here checking in for another episode of Sid's Vids. It's a quick turnaround for the Broncos and a really busy week for me as I am in La Jolla, California for the ESPNW Women and Sports Summit. So for this episode of Sid's Vids, follow me along as I head to La Jolla and then back to Denver and then to Cleveland for our game. I am here for the ESPNW Women in Sports Summit because the Broncos Executive Director of Football Operations and Special Advisor to the General Manager, Kelly Klein, she's here speaking as a panelist in the Women at the Helm panel. It's, I think, the 12th year of them doing it. I was here three years ago um, just listening as an attendee, so it's, I'm very honored to be here and be on that panel especially. He's talked about um, kind of my journey and how I got to um, where I'm at, and it's been a long 10 years, but it's been awesome. Um, sometimes you just need someone to take a chance on you, and then you can prove it. You can prove yourself and you know prove your worth that you're, you deserve that position or you deserve that job. This is my first year, and it's been really inspiring to hear everyone's stories and really their perseverance. I think there's just so many commonalities, really among everyone in their stories of how they've got to where they are in their career, um, the challenges they've overcome, who's mentored them, who's inspired them. Sports are changing and women are involved in all aspects of sports, coaching, um, scouting, marketing, you, I mean, you name it, women are everywhere now. And I think that's just important for everyone to see that um, there's all these examples of women here who are, who are just killing it. And it can be any of these women, you know, as attendees. All right, it's Wednesday now, and I'm back at the Denver International Airport. I'm out on the tarmac waiting for the team to arrive as we take off to head to Cleveland this afternoon. It is game day here at First Energy Stadium. We're about four hours until kickoff and it has been raining on and off all day here in Cleveland. Both teams are coming into this matchup tonight, three and three on the season and both really needing the win as it is a pivotal point in both of their seasons. It is the first and only primetime matchup of the season for the Broncos and all eyes are gonna be on them tonight. Typical game day duties for me tonight. I'll be following around Malik Reed throughout the game as he is mic'd up. And then after the game, we'll head to the locker room for some post game interviews. Outside the Broncos locker room here with Vaughn Miller. Vaughn, I know you left the game early, right before the half with an ankle injury. How's your ankle feeling now? What, what's the status? It's feeling better. You know, as time goes on, you know, it's feeling a little better. I felt like I could have toughed it out and went back out there and, you know, done some things to help us. But, you know, um, taking uh, advice from, you know, all the wonderful, you know, athletic trainers and, you know, doctors that we got, they decided to keep me out. And, um, you know, that's what I had to do. Shelby, obviously not the outcome you guys had hoped for, but you had a good game, you know, a sack and a blocked field goal. But overall, what did you think of this defense's performance tonight? Uh, you know, we didn't step up when the time was needed. You know, that first drive uh, of the game, you know, we need to do better. And then the last drive, you know, I think when you have two big drives like that where you give up points or in the last drive where we just couldn't get a stop, you know, it's, uh, it's disheartening. But, you know, once again, it's one game. You know, it's still a lot of time to write the ship. 